Hello, everybody. Testing, testing. I think I'm good on the mic. Hey, everybody. Ricardo Wilkins here for the decaf edition of uh, Coffee with the Cowboy. I'm your host, Ricardo Wilkins, here at 9 p.m. Eastern. So yes, I wake up on Saturday mornings, get coffee, and talk about teams, and then I'll get decaf on a Tuesday night and still talk about teams. Cheers. So, just sit, trying to see if uh, this time might be good for folks, night owls like myself. We'll see. But anyway, I'm here to chat it up with you about teams. So I am uh, monitoring chat, and other than that, I um, just getting my stuff together here. So let me uh, switch over to here, and we can kick this thing off. Make sure I'm good. Okay. Awesome. So. Another episode of Coffee with Cowbell. What are we talking about today? We can talk about anything you want if you happen to be on. And uh, if I happen to be able to see your chat, I will certainly oblige there. But uh, as I started to do this inaugural episode of the decaf edition, this, this evening edition, it made me think a little bit actually about, uh, <clears throat> you know, that, that whole uh, managing your your off hours with Teams and or email and or Office 365 in general, right? Um, when it's off hours, you want to just have time with your family and get your coffee and just sit back and watch Coffee with the Cowbell. I know that's, you know, we get through the work day just to get to this point, right? Where we can watch Coffee with the Cowbell. How do you make sure that uh, you're not getting bothered by notifications and and other signals from work that might distract you from this experience. So that's what I was thinking about as we as I was kind of coming into this. So I thought I'd sh at least talk about and show a few of the things that uh, can be used to help manage the notifications and the time uh, and and you know, manage your time and things that might, you know, come in between your time. So um, let's do that. Uh, let's see here. So it's a few things um, that will help from a, let's call it an out of office kind of experience. And I think really they start up here in the settings. So there's a lot going on in the settings. Um, one key place that you should really get to start to know is the notifications area. All right. So um, there's a few uh, interesting things here. I'll ignore some of these here. I'll I'll, I'll kind of start here with activity. Now. I, I don't really, I wouldn't really consider this, uh, your after hours or, or out of office kind of place, but this is really, I just wanted to start here as the beginning of my, my managing your notifications and teams, right? So as this implies, you get desktop and activity notifications for the following. If you want teams to tell you everything going on, you don't want to miss anything. This box is for you, right? all activity, new messages, reactions, all the mentions, all that good stuff. Uh, if you're more interested in, hey, I don't want to know everything going on in Teams, but let me know when something that's very specific to me is going on. That's when mentions and replies is probably your friend. But then if you've got something you want kind of in between all of that, that's where the custom piece comes in. So um, for instance, I happen to have 
for all these things, banner and feed. Banner being the pop-up on the in the corner, feed being the uh, activity feed on the left of Teams. So this is saying, give me pop-ups and put it in my feed as things come in. But I could say, basically, this is saying, don't give me a pop-up for it. So I do have those options. And then as I come down here, and so, you know, that, that, that could be useful because uh, whether it's your desktop or your phone, uh, the pop-ups is really what, uh, you know, tries to get into your, get in your face versus just things flowing in the feed. Feed is, if you are trying to kind of ignore teams, feed is a little easier to ignore than the banners. So, so that's useful. And then in terms of this is talking specifically about shown and pin channels, the new posts, do I want them on or off? Do I, do I want anything really? Or for new posts, do I want to see something? And I love this checkbox here. Include all replies, yes or no. I like this because this is basically saying, show me the new post, but not all the things that people reply to that post about. So show me, welcome Ricardo to the team. Don't show me the 37, welcome Ricardo, congrats Ricardo, great to have you Ricardo, don't show me all of those. It's kind of, that's the example I like to use there. So you have that. Um, and then channel mentions, the at mentions there, right? What do I want to, to show there? So this is gonna go a long way to managing pop-ups and whatnot obviously in your during the work day but also after after the fact oops i got out of the settings um so those are going to be good um but uh where it's we start to get into more of that out of office kind of experience if i go to privacy um this would be one place to start do not disturb basically stop sending me anything during this privacy time, except for people that I want to have priority access from a work setting. Uh, expect this to be, you know, manager, key, key team members, things like that. If you use teams at, uh, at home, hopefully this, the spouse or the significant other is in here. Uh, maybe the kids, right. Um, so yeah, priority folks can get through, but everything else uh, gets blocked. So this is uh, the first step there. Um, what I want to show and probably can't is so the, there's a mobile side to this too. Um, and it has some settings. Um, but as I think, as I think about it, I not, I don't have the setup ready to show that. So we'll have to do that on a separate one. But do not disturb is there in your privacy settings. That's one way to do it. If we get out of uh, settings in general, the other thing we have to kind of manage this experience is clicking on our profile area. And you have your presence here, which will, uh, you know, this will, um, kind of take care of itself in general based on your calendar, right? If you're in a meeting or in an active Teams call, this will change appropriately. In fact, in a meeting and in a call are presence uh, options here. They, they're not in a list because those are ones that come up automatically based on Teams knowing you're in a meeting and a call, right? Mm -hmm. But beyond that, um, unless, you know, and again, it, uh, availability and biz busy um, does it on its own. But you may want to manually change this from time to time based on, again, how you want to uh, be, uh, you know, alerted during maybe even focus time. Focus uh, obviously is, a, is a, another presence based on using focus in, in Outlook. That's a, a type of uh, setting those that are letting Viva and, and whatnot to handle their help, help them with their man, time management. But I may want to go to do not disturb, right? Which gives me that symbol there. 
And as this thing uh, is saying, which let me see if I can make this bigger, status is set to do not disturb. You'll only get notifications for urgent messages. Okay. This doesn't keep your team members from hitting you up. Uh, hopefully they are being sensitive to this and honoring your do not disturb, but they may not. It's not keeping them out per se, um, but it is keeping most of the noise out. Okay. And then the other ones that can be useful for managing that out of office experience is the appear away. Okay. I may be at my machine, but I want to appear away so that, uh, you don't bother reaching out to me. You assume I'm not at my machine. That's what that's implying. And then the ultimate is to appear offline entirely. So, uh, you know, again, that's kind of self-explanatory. So, uh, you know, but as this implies, appear away, appear offline. I mean, this is, uh, to me, it's a full, uh, you know, it, it's teams admitting that we are going to fake it. <laughs> for the sake of you, your time management, right? So you aren't offline. This isn't, this isn't taking you offline. It's just making you look like you're offline. To me, this is important. Even if I, many of you may be like me and, and, and will work in the evening, but uh, I think it's important though, to turn these on, even if you are working because I think it helps train your coworkers, right? Um, I, you know, I, I feel like you don't want to train coworkers or customers or whoever might see your presence in the evening, help train them to know that you constantly work in the evening. I'm not saying there's anything wrong with that. I just, I think you, you have an, you have an advantage by not letting people know that because <laughs> then, you know, Somebody might get used to that and might actually, you know, want something from you in those office hours. I'd rather it be my choice to work as opposed to someone assuming I'm working because they see me green at 9 p.m. Like right now. Uh, so appearing away during the off hours and even, you know, for certain things like lunch dur during office hours, I think are important or appearing offline. Um, I usually use a peer away for times during, during, uh, work hours or, um, you know, weekdays I try to, and then I try to use a peer offline for the weekends. It's just preference with either, with all of those, the options we just talked about, uh, keep in mind this guy reset status. It's big again see this so reset status let's say i'm at a peer away what i if i'm done being away what i don't necessarily want to do is go to available manually uh because based on my calendar i might actually be in a busy time or maybe i'm supposed to be in a meeting or something I want really what I really want is for teams in Office 365 to take take over my presence again automatically. And that's what reset status is about. So instead of me saying, OK, I'm done appearing away, let me go back to being available. I actually want to just reset status, which will then take away appear away. And then put it to whatever I'm supposed to be right now. It could be green because I got nothing, <clears throat> nothing going on on my calendar. Or it could be busy. Or something like that, just based on you know what's happening with my calendar. So keep that in mind. Reset status says take up, take it up, take take it over again. Office three sixty five. So keep that in mind. And then the last one, which uh, hopefully you're using because it's kind of cool, is um, this uh, duration. So. For instance, right now, I might want to be do not disturb because of, you know, I'm busy right now or because it's the evening. Maybe, you know, I want to appear do not disturb. Maybe I want to even appear away 
for the rest remainder of this evening. I don't want to have to remember in the morning to go back to green or whatever my status is. So I would say appear away, reset the status after today. Think that I think that it would be at midnight where this would then where then 0365 would take over again. If it's lunch, I might say appear away for 30 minutes. All this again is because I don't want to have to remember to, to go back and change it. Uh, I've certainly myself forgotten, gone through half of the next workday, realizing I've been sitting on appear away all day. And I don't like that because now I'm training. <laughs> now I'm training my coworkers and customers to not believe my status, you know, because uh, they, they know I'm not away. Uh, or if they do know that I'm not away, but I've been appearing away all day now, it's like Ricardo doesn't know what he's doing with his status. So I'm just I'm just going to assume he's green. Right. So I don't want to forget to change it. And so in, instead of trying to remember, I will use this to reset after a certain amount of time. So 30 minutes, one, two hours today, even this week. Um, say you're off, uh, you know, you know taking a vacation for the week. Help this kept helps me from uh, having to remember at the end of the week. And then, of course, if none of those presets work for you, then custom. What time, what day, specific day and specific time do you want this thing to go back to, you know, Office 365 taking over for you? Um, yeah, so that that to me is useful. I don't know if you've, you know, often forgotten to, I mean, if you ever do any manual changes, I, I, it can be very easy to forget to change it back. So duration is very useful. I try to actually use that most of the time and try to train myself to use it so that I will always use the setting that will remember for me instead of trying to trust my own memory. So that is a useful one. Again, it is more about, like I say, people can ignore it. Um, but again, it's more about kind of setting a precedence and, or, you know, trying to tell people what your availability is and hoping that they will play nice. All right. So that helps. And then, uh, you know, you could certainly set a status that explains what's going on with you, whether you're on vacation. Certainly, if you're on vacation or, out, you know, truly out of office, you want to put something there. If nothing else, you know, whether it's your backup, your, alter, you know, alternate contact info or whatever it may be. And then you got some options there in terms of uh, showing that message literally every time somebody tries to at mention you or your or or uh, type in a chat that you're a part of. That message is going to show on a banner. That's what that checkbox is going to do. And then again, the. The don't forget option here, clear the status message after a certain amount of time. I think there, yeah, there's a custom on that, too. Uh, if you can see that. So. Right. So again, that's a way to make sure we don't have to remember ourselves. And um, yeah, so so there's that. And then, uh, you know, very pure out of office kind of feature here is the schedule out of office. Right. Uh, this is in sync with. So, I mean, doing it in Outlook will also, you know, manifest itself in teams and vice versa. So you don't, I don't, I don't believe you have to do it this manually in teams as well as an outlook. Um, but again, we can turn on auto replies and out of office message. Um, oh yeah. It says it right there. Your out of office status will also sync with your outlook calendar. Um, and so th this should be common to you. I mean, auto replies, for out of office been around a long time in Outlook. So it's the same, same concept. I would say here in Teams for your convenience. Um, so, yeah. Um, and in fact, I think that 
let's see here. Uh, where am I? Okay, yeah, it, it essentially took me to the settings and to the out of office area for the settings. I don't know if you noticed that. Right, so I was here. Settings are here. I was here. Let me maybe a little small, but yeah, anyway, it took me to the settings for that. All right. So all in that little area of teams. This little area up here. So all these settings for uh, managing our, our time, in particular, our off time. So I find that useful. Um, in fact, let's see here. This is the uh, right one. Since we're here, Outlook. And uh, settings and view all Outlook settings. And we have our, there's our out of office calendar. Let's forget actually, because it's actually an auto automatic reply. So there we go. So you can see a similar, same kind of thing as what we, we saw in, in Teams, right? But these will play nicely with each other. Of course, this is the uh, this is the web version. I could go into the desktop version of Outlook, show it there too as well. But they all play nicely together. Okay. Um, and then the other thing that I would uh, say about managing your off time is. Viva Insights. For those that have this uh, going in your org, is also trying to help you manage your time and manage your wellness. Um, and so you can see, for instance, a protect time section to Insights and this concept of booking focus time. When I book focus time, it shows a little differently in my Outlook calendar, but there is also just like I mentioned in a meeting, in a call, I didn't mention presenting, but presenting is another one that's kind of, that's automatic. You can't set it manually, but Teams knows when you are presenting a PowerPoint in a meeting. So it changes to presenting with the little blocked area. So those are three automatic ones that you can't manually set to and then the fourth one being focusing i set i book focus time in the calendar when i'm in that slot teams is says focusing with a with a what do you call it, the do not disturb symbol um, so again another uh, way to uh, show a presence that um, hopefully and and because that's a little newer than these other presence indicators which you know are I guess could we call those decades old? Not, I don't know if decades it might not be that old, but you know we're used to red and green, you know, available and busy. I feel like when people see focusing, that's that's new and novel enough that I I don't know. I feel like people try to honor it more. I'm specifically saying I'm trying to use this time to focus, to get get some deep concentration to my tasks, and uh, if you got good teammates, they'll honor that. So, um, yeah, so there's lots of good stuff in Diva Insights for giving you tips and helping you uh, try to manage time uh, and try to be uh, mindful of your wellness. OK, but focus time being the you know, one of the big ones here that uh, I was mentioning because of its connection to the presence that we talked about. OK. Uh, maybe in another session or if I had prepared better, <laughs> you know, the mobile app 
has a few more options in this regard, including talking about which days you let's say you're taking off a week. Which days do you want to kind of shut notifications down? It, it's it's just got its own little uh, aspect to it, which is good and which makes sense because your phone is its own experience, right? Because it's you know in your pocket, vibrating, you know, and those kind of things uh, might want a different experience there than what you're getting on a desktop, right? I might be okay with pop-ups on a desktop, but I don't want in my quiet time or focus time or off time, I don't want my phone vibrating constantly. Is it vibrating for work or personal or whatever? So I like that there are additional settings related to your uh, out of office, let's say for the mobile. So uh, I do have a way to show my mobile phone on the, uh, you know, in this session, I just didn't have it set up for this time. Um, so yeah, with that said, oh, that's a little early. <laughs> um, I hope that was helpful. Like again, this being the first, my first evening session, just thought it made sense or, you know, it just came to my head. Let's talk about managing our time and our notifications and our, you know, during this evening session. So there are a lot of, uh, ways to do that as we saw in teams. Maybe in another session, though, I'll talk about managing notifications during the workday, not about being off, but hey, there's a lot of things firing off in all these teams. I mean, how can I manage all that? Make it make it, you know, not so noisy. We can do that as well. So uh, we've got a few few ways to do that. That's one of my favorite topics because I do sometimes run into folks who just who think that teams I, d I can't be in a lot of teams. I can't be in a lot of chats because I'll just get pinged all the time and it's too noisy and then it becomes white noise. And so I just don't listen to it. And it does not have to be that way. We can fine tune teams to give us the notifications that we want the way we want it. If we want it to be chatty, it can be chatty. If we want it to be very, uh, just tell me just enough. I mean, we, it, we can do that. So that's something we can go through in the future. Hope this was helpful. Hope you got decaf and not caffeine so that you can get some rest tonight. But uh, this has been Coffee with the Cowbell. And I hope you have a good one.